Wisconsin Safer at Home extension begins today, now lasts until May 26th. But those mixed feelings we've been reporting on all week, those are expected to be front and center this afternoon. That extension, which is now revised, lifted some restrictions on non-essential businesses all across the state. Our Ryan Jenkins explains which ones. Libraries can now reopen again and offer curbside services, but in Milwaukee that has not happened yet. Some other businesses and amenities, though, are already taking advantage of the fewer restrictions. To me, it's just a challenge to be creative. Steph Davies owns The Wax Wing, a local shop that sells handmade items. I have been a non-essential business, um, which means the curbside and the delivery was not really within the realm of what we should be doing. Um, so that opens us up to be part of that. After weeks of surviving on online sales, Steph can now offer curbside and delivery, and she'll be able to bring back at least two of her employees. It's nice to have them back on board for sure and be able to support them. Area golf courses are also reopening. Golfer Reggie Riley says he feels safe back on the course. We're going to the grocery stores. We're doing a lot of other things. It's a lot of room to have six feet between each other. Milwaukee County's courses opened at 8 o'clock Friday morning. Under the new Safer at Home extension, all golfers must reserve and pay for their round of golf online or by phone. And clubhouses and pro shops must remain closed. Local shops also have rules to follow. And Steph says she's happy to comply. I think there's enough community support there that we can make it through this longer, stay at home, and do it safely. A lawsuit has been filed by lawmakers who are trying to overturn the governor's order as some argue that restrictions on businesses should be lifted even further. In Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.